What's up everyone? So this is my team to a recap. I believe this is week 3 now that I've been playing. Uh, but uh, before I show you these games that I played against Bublavat, who is one of the best players that I have faced so far, honestly. Uh, I wanted to show off my team's progress a little bit. So as of the time of me recording this, Mav has played his games and he has played against Damon. Unfortunately, he has lost 0 to 3, but I don't blame him at all because Damon, I believe, is one of the best players. And we also have Tyler versus Fu Belly Lass, who, curiously enough, I believe I have played against both of them in my ranked series that I used to run. And uh, thankfully, Tyler did snatch a win right here, 3 to 1. So we have one win on the board. And uh, unfortunately both Echo and Sincere have not played their matches just yet, so I don't know if we are going to win or lose this week. Especially considering my score, which I won't spoil just yet. But I'm especially curious to see how Sincere vs Crocs are nice is going to go, because I love both Sincere and uh, Crocs are nice is basically my favorite person of the entire community. And I know he's going to watch the video as well, so if you're hearing this Crocs, I love you. I'm making this like gesture with my uh, with my hand signifying a little heart for you. Whatever the case though, let us hop into the game. I think I will be showing off this one because it was a pretty fun one for me. And uh, a little thing you have to know about Bubble of that is that I believe at one point in the week he was top 1. Maybe it was day one, maybe it was day two, I don't really remember anymore, but uh, yeah, he was a super good player, super dedicated grinder as well. And it was kind of unfortunate for me because I had a very busy week with like um, multiple exams and uh, multiple theses that I had to write, but I did manage to sneak some practice in and this is the result. I'm getting pretty lucky here with a bluebird and a opossum. Interesting visual glitch there. I did not combine the bluebird with the opossum as you can see. But uh, yeah, pretty decent start. My opponent turning for multiple mice, but I guess it's not really going to be punished because we drew the first round and he's going to replenish the heart. So I guess he is at an advantage. He even has a level on the mouse. We do have a double level up as well right here and it is Puppy plus Rabbit which unfortunately I believe neither of those are top tier this week. If you let me pause here for a second. Usually the tier 3's that I'm looking for are the Baboon. Uh, I said this to Ref in a DM, I believe this is the Babusi Weekly. Baboon such a clutch unit because you have things of multiple tiers you want to be scaling up like for tier 2 you have lizard, you have the sturgeon, the lemur, the swan as well, even the snail if you manage to lose the second turn. For tier 3 you have the camel, you have the anteater, the weasel, uh, puppy as well I guess isn't too bad. For tier 4 you have stuff like the skunk, parrot as well is actually a curious part of many combos, so uh, if you managed to take a parrot during this weekly, I think you had a pretty good time. There's also the blowfish which is pretty decent. And tier 5 and 6 are basically self-explanatory, many of these units are good. Whatever the case though, I don't want to waste too much of your time, let's go back into the game. We're running a 4 squad, or I guess we're running a 5 squad because that visual glitch just happened again. And you can see my opponent did level up into a Babusi plus Weasel, which uh, honestly is what I would have preferred to have happened to me, but I think my selection was pretty decent as well. Because there is Bison in the pack, I decided to invest a little bit in this Bluebird, maybe if I get it to level 3 next turn I'm going to be super happy. Very noteworthy actually, my opponent taking multiple sea urchins, which I think I usually sleep on. Yeah, you can see he found three uh, sea urchins right here. One of them even got buffed by the Babusi. 
Actually pretty interesting combo right here, the Bobusi buffs the Sea Urchin and then the Sea Urchin reduces the HP to my most likely first or second in position to one and then the Bobusi finishes it off. But uh, yeah, very problematic unit if you know how to use it especially, it can be such a troublemaker for your opponent. But I think we'll be fine, we have a pretty good synergy here with the rabbit and the puppy. I'm freezing a lasagna because I don't want to give it to this black neck stilt right here, but I think I'll be forced to, yeah. Unfortunate, I was hoping for something like a weasel. You really like having lots of gold because most of these scaling units are actually happy when you have more gold, like the elephant seal and the starfish that are in the pack. Whatever the case though, we did not find anything, so instead we'll be scaling up the stilt, buying some salads. Now the double weasel shows up, but I think it's a little bit late, so instead we uh, end up uh, scaling a bit of the rabbit stats. Unfortunate there that the bluebird hits the other rabbit, so we basically waste it above there, but I think we'll be fine, especially because our positioning was super solid on that round. We ended up winning. If we manage to get an early level up on the puppy or the rabbit, we'll be super happy. Actually, we do keep finding some bluebird, but I think at this point in the game, it's kind of meaningless for me to level up the bluebird. Yeah, just because you can see right here, I'm going to sell it in favor of a turkey. Turkey, super strong. Uh, Tyler has uh, basically brainwashed me into liking the uh, canned food, and the turkey is basically a better version of canned food, so I like taking that. Also, there are multiple summon lines you can go for. You have Parrot, you have the Platypus, you, which uh, you saw me take. There's also some pretty good summon units early on, like the Anteater, which is right here. There's also the Sturgeon and the Lizard. Lizard especially if, been, if you have been scaling up early is super good. There's also, curiously enough, the bear, which uh, can be used to counter the weasels, uh, not the weasels, the lemur's garlic, and uh, replace it with honey. Also, in the late game, there is the wolf, and uh, I guess the saber to tiger, even though that's not one of the best summons, I don't think, for this pack. Curiously enough, there is also panther plus popcorn, so you can use that for a pseudo summon unit. Whatever the case though, I don't think I'm going to be going for summons because look at my team, it's mostly scaling focus with the double rabbit. We are going to transition into multiple platypi though for the tempo. We even find the third one, so we have a level up prepared for next turn. We're hoping for the best. And thankfully this turkey, you can see, doing a lot of work for us. It's going to get us a draw right here where uh, honestly we should have lost. Let's take a look at our opponent's team right now. They have a moose which they leveled into as well as a poodle so their scaling is incredibly powerful as compared to mine which is almost non-existent. They also gave a donut to the sea urchin so that makes the moose buff it all the time and uh, for a summon team I think it's very good for them to have a unit with uh, 50 HP and just enough attack so that they take out everything on my team in one hit. Thankfully the rabbit was healthy enough that it took two hits, so we ended up drawing right there. Whatever the case though, I'm going into pedantics, let's continue the game. You can see I'm trying to transition into a little bit of scaling just to uh, counteract his scaling and uh, we actually level up into a thingy, um, an elephant seal, I almost forgot the name of it, so, sadly enough. It's going to be the MVP of this game and you can see we are going to get it up to level 2 on turn 9 which is crazy good. If I open up the pack for you real quick, I know I've been doing it a lot but uh, bear with me. I believe, yeah you can see monkey right here. There is also the Moose, the Poodle, the Komodo, and as well as that we have the Elephant Seal. And uh, out of those I think it's an easy contest, the Elephant Seal is the best killer in the entire pack. And we got it up to level 2 on turn 9 and we still have 5 hearts remaining, so I think we're going to have a great time. Let's reposition, 
We don't have money for this lionfish just yet, but it's coming in first thing next turn, and we're going to start scaling it up. My opponent actually has taken a thingy, a caterpillar, which he has been leveling up for some time now. And it's going to be level 3 next round, which is kind of scary considering the fact that we have an 1830. But I think we'll be fine, especially with the lionfish coming in. Let's put it in fast motion real quick. I don't think it's worth it for us to go for a level 3 elephant seal. Level 2 is sufficient. But I think the team that we have right now is basically strong enough to win. Maybe we can replace this tilt with something useful. But yeah, perfect math right there. Even despite that we lose, but thankfully we don't give our opponent the 2 gold with the weasel. So that's at least a slight positive. We're going to continue scaling. And uh, you can see we are really regretting not having picked up a weasel right here because we would have loved to have some extra gold right now for some extra scaling with the elephant seal. Whatever the case though, we didn't get lucky with the uh, roll, so we are just going to stick with this team. And it's not like this is a bad team, we have the lionfish and the warthog, which are basically two of the best units you can scale up in the entire pack. There's also a gorilla right here maybe you can scale up a tiger as well because it synergizes pretty nicely with the warthog and lionfish and as well as that you can put an onion on it to shuffle up the positions a little bit whatever the case though as i said before i think we're going to be good enough my opponent sold the poodle so he only has a level one moose when it comes to scaling and on our team we have three scalers and two pretty decent units to benefit from that scaling so I think we're going to be okay. Yep, we win right here. Bubblevat is on one heart remaining. And I believe this is going to be the final round. And thankfully the play from me is pretty brainless right here. I'm just putting perks on the elephant seal to scale up the entire team. Maybe I do some uh, repositioning in order to make sure that I take this out in one hit. I don't think it's happening though because... Like, if he levels the moose up to level 2 and finds several tier 1 units, then all of the HP buffs are going to go on to the piranha because of the donut. So, at the very least, we're going to need 2 hits to take it out. So, I think I'm going to put the rabbit at the front. Either that or the lionfish, so that we have at least 25 attack. But yeah, this is going to be the final round. Let's see how it goes. Thankfully, I already have it on slow motion, so we don't have to worry. And yeah, as we predicted, the moose is level 2. The piranha is almost at 50 HP. Thankfully, it's still level 1 though, so it only gives 3 attack when it's hurt. We're going to give them 2 triggers, so that's 6 extra attack for the entire team. Let's see how we do right here. And you can see it's actually not, not as close as I thought it would be. We have a big monkey at the end and uh, thankfully we claimed the victory. We did play a best of 7 though. And uh, I'm happy to report that I won my games or I won my set for 2-1. So this week I got another win for my team. Hopefully Sincere and uh, Echo ju uh, deliver just as well as I did and Tyler. But uh, yeah, this is going to be for the video. Another time the CEO is coming to save us, so I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.